Hey guys, it's Joanne. Welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to come on and reveal the swap that um, Brittany over at BB Crafts was hosting back um, around Halloween time. That 13, uh, 13 box advent book thing. I did post a video of me making that for my partner. Um, I sent it off and if this is ever a swap gone wrong, guys. <laughs> um, so my package did say delivered. Uh, my partner is still trying to find it uh, from her post office. I'm not sure why the post office will say delivered and then, you know, it's not there. It's kind of frustrating sometimes. Um, as well as the package that Tara, my swap partner, sent me, never got to me, um, never left her post office, <laughs> and then wound up with uh, water damage and that. So she was kind enough to send me out um, just a little box of goodies uh, and I just wanted to um, to share with you guys what she sent because she sent some really cool things and some really like things I could really use, guys. So everything came in like a medium flat rate box. And the first thing she sent was this t-shirt. Um, it's Halloween. Uh, trick or treat. Here's Super what I cute. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Um, you know, I'm not gonna open that up, but that was a super sweet t-shirt there. Um, she also included this Happy Planner um, like makeup bag. And inside of here is a bunch of double-sided tapes. Different widths. And I never used the red one. Red one says extra strength. So those will be exciting. Always in need of those, right? All right, then we have this pack of beads here. Look how pretty, guys. I'm loving it. And these are those um, big beads. I don't have too many, if any, of the larger beads like that. And then there's this pack of pom-pom beads, which I do have a few of these, but not, um, not many. So these, and I love the colors, right? This will be great come um, springtime, summertime again. Uh, there's a couple of stamp sets in here. So these are cute stamp abilities. And this is some kitty cats. And then this one is, um, what's that called? Like outer space, right? Um, astronaut. <laughs> and then this one is just some girls here. I'm really loving this one. This one would be great to stamp and color. Let's see, there was another one. Okay, then there's another stamp set here, um, Momenta, and this is all uh, dog, dog related. Cold nose, warm heart. Oh my God, I love the dog's noses. So we have all those. And then we have this here, which I'm thinking is a glue gun holder, right? That's what I'm thinking it is. Makes sense to me. So we'll definitely experiment with that. Um, also included were some um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxides, which is great because I'm trying to um, collect these and I do not have these colors here, um, which is great. So this is ground espresso, a brown, and then black soot. All my colors are like blues, yellows, pinks. So it's really nice to add these to my collection. And then we have, let's see guys, we have some small packages of buttons. So we have butterflies. These would be cool for next Halloween, right? Black and orange butterflies. We can kind of make them spooky if we want to. And then some pastel balloons. She really hooked me up. I don't have a dollar, uh, a Hobby Lobby that close. So it's nice to receive all these Hobby Lobby things. But these are all buttons, but we could also pop off that button piece on the back. These are really pretty flowers. And then these, I think, are just like bubbles. Like bubble buttons. Let's see. Oh, they're like, they're mouse ears. Right? I think that's what they are. Does it tell you what they are? All right, I think, no, no, they're not mouse ears because that one does not have double, double ears. So I think they're just like clear, like water, 
bubbles. So we can definitely um, pop off the back there and use those as flat, flat projects. And um, excuse my nails, guys. I'm trying to get ready for Thanksgiving, and I only have time to paint one hand <laughs> at a time, or I'll mess them all up. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really tell us what these are supposed to be, but I think they're just supposed to be bubbles or water drops, one or the other. All right, then we have this tool here. It's called the Easy Hook, and it is a fastener. What does it say? I guess to put, maybe to help put bracelets on and stuff. Ideal for hard to close jewelry, zippers, and buttons. And it does give some like instruction on the back here. So yeah, I guess that would be to um, clip it, you know, so hold, you can hold it in one spot while you can maneuver the other piece into that spot and it's long enough to hold, right? Good idea. I didn't know, think I knew that they even had something like that. Oh, and then we have two big beads that fell out of the box. We'll put that over there. And then some tags here to and from with a dog paw on them. These are really super cute. I should put these on my Christmas presents, right? Yeah, I definitely should. And then they're like painted on the back. I think I might put these on some of my presents this year. Tara, thank you so much for all the goodies. Um, and then the last um, purchased item in the box is this mini corner rounder punch which I do not have. I'm going to open this. I do not have a corner rounder. I use my um, crocodile. But if this is something I can just keep right here and not have to, I just want to see how big it rounds, right? So can we round it on a regular card base? So we have like a five and a quarter by four here. Let's see what happens if we just try to round that. Yeah, I think so. Right? What's the difference? All we want is a round edge. It doesn't matter how big it is. So this is perfect. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Such useful things um, in my box of goodies from Tara. And then she also, let me just do this last one since I'm here, but my paper is crooked. So it's not going in right. There we go. Um, my last... Okay, yep, I'm gonna put that right there. It's gonna stay right there on the card making station. And last but not least, um, Tara made me some cards. So let's check these out. These look pretty neat. I'm not sure how these work. I guess you put it in the envelope like this, right? Because then it opens up into a box. And it's a box card that you can give and like a little decoration. Isn't that cute? I love that. Did she make that? How creative. Very, very creative. So there's two like that. <clears throat> Those are the big ones. And then there's two smaller cards. And this one is just with some Christmas paper on the front. And then on the inside is a little note here. So we could leave this for Santa, right? On his, um, um, when he comes, when Santa comes on Christmas Eve night, we can leave this for him so that he knows where all his stuff is. And that gives him a nice little, nice little note. So I kind of like that. It's a good idea, especially if you have some little ones. And then the last one here, I thought this one was cute. It's Christmas, let's flamingo. Um, so it's die cut and then like a shadow behind it and then some flamingos, some flamingos there on the, on the front wearing their little Hawaiian stuff. <laughs> Super cute. Um, Tara, thank you, thank you so much. You did not have to um, do all of this. I know that sometimes things happen and what are we gonna do? It's out of our control, right? So. Our swap that went wrong, totally wrong, turned out on my end so far to be really good. And I do hope that Tara, um, they find her delivered package that I sent her. You know, these projects, these were big projects. You know, we put a lot of work into them. Of anything to go missing, this was probably the worst one ever. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I will um, link Tara's channel down below. I'll also leave Brittany from BB's, BB Crafts. 
down below. She's uh, got an awesome channel. Be sure to check her out. She's doing a um, 12 Days of Britness right now, where every day she's showing a different um, paper crafty Christmas project. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I do plan to have this up by Thanksgiving, so enjoy your Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you, and have a great day.